So I think it's really important that the data that the NGR has is of suitable quality and for many, many different reasons. I'd like to emphasise this is not just about consultant outcome publication, it's about generally about improving the data quality. So information we have is robust in terms of publication um, validity and also with the increased use of uh, dashboards, hospital dashboards, the information we hold on hospitals and units is correct. I'm aware that uh, many surgeons um, are sometimes unhappy that the data on them or their hospital is not correct. So uh, it's really important that this information is correct. And this is your opportunity to put it right if it's not right, because some of it can be done through the hospital um, data managers and audit personnel. But I think if you want to ensure that your data, your hospital data is correct, then I think it's your responsibility to do this. Now I think there are three important asks. As surgeons say, well, what are you asking to me, to me to do? How do I do it? What is validation? Um, and as I've said before, I think it's just really important that we're not missing information on primary and revision activity, and also that that, that information is correct. So here's the ask. The first thing, go to clinician feedback, download your consultant level report, find your link revisions, um, check those link revisions are correct. If they're not correct, discuss with your hospital data manager and they will have that information sent back from the NGR and can be edited and resubmitted so it can be corrected. That probably is the single most important thing for you to do. I know some of you have already done this, but I think everybody must do this. Having done that, a separate national audit will be carried out information passing from the hospital to the NGR to identify missing cases in financial year 2014-15. You may then be asked to fill in some additional forms of missing entries. Hopefully there won't be too many, hopefully five to ten entries, so we make good any missing data that should have been submitted within that financial year. Well, I'm only too aware that uh, surgeons are completely overloaded and working flat out. And you know, for asking surgeons to do anything above and beyond that, I think it's going to be met with some concern. But I think this is really important to do, and I'm quite satisfied having uh, carried this out personally and in my hospital that this is achievable in a reasonable framework. I've estimated that for each individual uh, revision of my own to be audited and checked has taken me about 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, and therefore hopefully it's a matter of hours rather than weeks to be able to achieve this. And I think most surgeons should be able to adequately validate the consultant level report within a matter of four to eight hours. So I think that is achievable over, say, three to four weeks without um, uh, too onerous in involvement and I think there are probably other things that we do which aren't as important as this activity. So I think from that point of view it's something we can do and it's something we should do. Having validated this over for the history of the NGR, in other words for 10 to 12 years, year on year there'll be a much less onerous task because we'll be just be um, validating the revisions within that year which hopefully should just be not one, two, three cases. So moving forwards it'll be become less time onerous. When I check my data on the consultant level report, um, I meticulously went through it and found that this was in fact achievable. But the interesting thing was that I became confident that I'd recorded my activity over 14, sorry, over 10 years and could accurately understand what my practice was like in terms of reoperation rates, revisions, why those revisions had occurred on a case-by-case -case basis. So in fact, I created an Excel worksheet uh, trying to create a learning experience from those cases. Why did these revisions occur? Was it patient selection? Was it a technical problem? Was it um, an act of nature, a fall, periprosthetic fracture? And I think it was really excellent at the end of this I could be reassured that I had a much better feel on my practice so 
And as a learning experience, I thought it was really, really beneficial about understanding how I'd really performed over the last uh, 10 to 12 years.